Good morning, Menham family. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it and start by something doing uh, a little bit different. Well, I guess this isn't really different, so. Let's go ahead and feed my girl Lucy because she already can smell the rodent, so. All right, girl. Game on for you. You're going the wrong way. Uh, you're going the wrong way. Wrong way. Hello. Oh, there you go. Come on, girl. All right, and just like that, uh, nothing new there, folks, so, but yeah, that's one sink down, but we got one more to go, so, I just, I know it's a little bit kind of a surprise, but we will get into today's video topic here in just a few more minutes, so, let's go ahead and feed my next girl, and, uh, let's see if she's hungry. All right, Ariel, you hungry? Are you hungry? Yep, I figured she was. Get it, girl. Come on. Show me what you're made of. You gotta show that mouse what you're made of. There you go. <laughs> okay. There you go. Alrighty then. Once again, uh, that girl still has a ferocious appetite. But she kind of actually knows the difference between my hand and my finger, so... I guess I can't blame her on that one, but boy oh boy. This girl, so far, this past year has grown a lot. She has gone literally in and out of shed several times this year and um obviously with her getting upgraded with the rodents here this is actually kind of a good sign that she is definitely not done growing yet so but eventually though i'm hoping within a year or so we'll get her a bigger tank so because she's getting looks like getting a little bit small for this cage so but uh hopefully i gotta save a little money right so but anywho though hope you guys are having an awesome start to your day so for today's vlog it's gonna be a little bit interesting that i don't recall ever actually discussing it on my channel you guys there's I wanted to actually and talk about a few of the weirdest weirdest looking snakes that I think the world has ever seen so it's it would I'm sure there's uh, quite a few out there that are weird looking but the most few that I have seen whether it was in like picture books you know or videos or wherever else I've seen them but uh we are gonna go ahead and actually share them you guys so I think we'll go ahead and just go ahead and just get started. But first, uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of this room here because uh, I think it's probably, you know, maybe a little too much for us in here. So let's go ahead and head out into the living room. So the first one that I find actually very, very weird looking is elephant trunk snakes. And really, elephant trunks, you know, I don't hear a whole lot about elephant trunk snakes. And that's obviously because I actually did a lot of homework on this in the strange looking snake and they often don't really make great pets obviously because of one reason it's because of the overall difficulty care level because elephant trunk snakes actually actually prefer to spend pretty much their whole life under water that's right these guys spend pretty much their entire life in water and it's kind of similar to anacondas except one thing that is different uh, comparing to an anaconda to an elephant trunk snake is the type of skin that the elephant trunk snake has. The one, it, this is where it gets really weird with them. Elephant trunk snakes is like skin is more like baggy, you know, so it's like very, very like heavy weight. And that's why you notice, I guess, when elephant trunk snakes are in water, they're pretty much underwater about 98% of the time. And because that all that baggy skin that they have on them is a lot of weight so they can hardly ever come up near the surface for air but even though they can hold their breath a decent amount of time about like from what I read like 40 45 minutes so that's a pretty good time right underwater for a snake like that and these guys can get pretty decent sizes they can range from what I've heard sometimes ranging from six to eight foot long for an adult female eight foot long a male maybe like five six feet so Obviously, the difficulty level care is going to be very hard if you put it in an aquarium. I mean, it almost sounds like you could just put it in a tank with, filled with water. But the only problem is, you guys, is these guys, since they originate from, like, Asia and parts of Australia, the type of habitat to give them in is you can't just put water in it. It's not that simple. It really has to have more than just water in it, you guys. You can't add sand or even gravel in as bedding, you guys. So, that's just where it's really weird with these guys. These guys kind of like 
are fish eaters and eat amphibians, so it's kind of funny when you put it that way. But even though when you here, I'll show you guys a couple pictures of what the elephant trunk snake looks like. It's very, very weird looking, you guys. I mean, literally, it kind of makes you look like it was like I don't know, created out of kind of like Jurassic Park or something, you know. But it's very, very bizarre looking. So, but yeah, elephant trunk snakes definitely for me are without for sure, without debate, they are very weird looking for, for sure. All right, so now it is feeding time for my boy Tyson here. Lately, he hasn't taken that much food, so I don't know what the deal is, but let's go ahead and see if he wants any, because he's giving me that look like he's begging, so. All right, bud, here's some food for you, if you want it. If you want it only. <laughs> I like how he kind of actually takes it gently like that. That's actually, like really really nice of him to do that but nonetheless though he usually I'm surprised unlike him the other garters like whether if it's like when I whether if it used to be like Lucy or Cody all those guys they never back down from a meal you know I mean Lucy she just goes all out she literally crushes food every time I feed her so and she doesn't seem to be bothered by what kind of food item I'm offering her so but nonetheless though, Tyson, you're absolutely wicked. This next snake that's probably what's one of the most mysterious and probably one of the weirdest ones out there is tentacled snakes. And really, tentacled snakes kind of are like elephant trunk. It's kind of similar to with the species of the elephant trunk snake, but there's just something weird about tentacled snakes about them. Obviously, it's because they have these two little tentacles right at the front end, front end, front end of their face. But at the same time, no one knows for sure what they use them for. You know, like they don't know if they use them maybe to sense um, possible prey items nearby. Even though, at the same time, though, tentacle snakes are are aquatic snakes, kind of like elephant trunk snakes. Tentacle tentacle snakes do also spend most pretty much their lifetime underwater and they can hold their breath for, sounds like 25 to 30 minutes and these guys don't get actually quite as big like unlike elephant trunk snakes tentacle snakes can get about only about two to about almost three feet long so they don't really get that big even though they are mildly venomous but the venom is not considered dangerous to peep to us people so that's actually kind of a, a bit of a relief there but at the same time though these guys, actually, you don't see them a whole lot of these in captivity because, really, it's not probably a good snake to keep as a pet because, like I said, these guys spend their entire life underwater, so it's not going to be easy to care for like elephant trunk snakes. So, and these guys, believe it or not, mostly eat fish. These guys are mostly fish eaters. So, and a majority of these guys that are found in the reptile community are usually well caught so but yeah very very bizarre looking snakes and uh would i ever want to get one uh, probably not i seriously do not think i'm ever gonna get one no so you guys probably noticed in the last video that i posted was like three or four minutes long i addressed to you guys on why i didn't post a vlog the other weekend and um obviously it was because i was really sick but now today in this vlog you guys probably could tell by the sound of my voice, I'm doing much, much better. And for the last couple days, I have gone into work, and so far I felt like, starting to feel like my normal self again. So, it's really, really good to be back here. So, um, again, if you guys didn't notice that from the previous weekend I didn't have a vlog, I do apologize for that. But I promise you from now on, we'll try and stay on schedule, you guys, Monday, Mondays. Wednesdays and Saturdays, you guys, every th er, those mornings at 9 a.m., so I'm still trying to get my thoughts a little cleared up here, even though my brain is still a little bit, uh, a little bit screwed, a little bit loose, so, but nonetheless, though, I'm just really glad to be back here on the vlog, so I just wanted to give you guys this quick update on how my health is doing, so, but yeah, I'm super glad to be back here on these vlogs, you guys, and I'm starting to feel like myself again, and yes, I do got my appetite back, too, by the way, so... But yeah, nonetheless, I'm so glad to be back to getting back to my normal self. So, but uh, thank, I'm just glad that it's pretty much all over with. I'm also really, really stoked here, everybody. In the next two more weeks, we're actually about to start off the NFL season once more, you guys. 
and literally it's crazy to think that we're already coming to the end of summer but when it comes to the end of the summer it comes to football season too so really really thrilled about that one even though I really don't want summer to end but this is Michigan so the summer seasons here are short so but nonetheless though I'm sure many of you guys out there are very excited about football season as much as I am so um, I think maybe here in, in another month if you guys would like to see it in another month from now I'll probably go to my local high school to, to attend a football game so but uh, again your guys's opinions are okay with it in the comments down below if you guys would like me to do that again this year so but uh, hey if you guys rather watch me to watch professional football here at my house instead uh, that's totally fine too so but yeah your guys's thoughts in the comments down below I would really appreciate it to hear it from all of you so for the last of one of these weird looking snakes that probably anyone has ever seen in the world it, this one I really find also very weird but also very fascinating looking too at the same time dragon snakes now dragon snakes have been discovered a very long time ago and for some reason especially many years later now especially into 2022 there has been only very little research has been done on dragon snakes and that's probably because since they are native to Southeast Asia, um, there's just not enough, you know, specimens that have been discovered in the wild. But with that being said, too, there is also not a whole lot of captive breeding going on either. So, and the reason that these are called dragon snakes is because of how unusual their skin is. And if you actually actually take a look at this picture here that I'm going to show you guys here in just a moment. It shows you what is going on with the snake's skin. You can almost see like three rows of like almost crocodile like scutes going down the snake's body. And it kind of like almost looks like a cross between a snake and a crocodile, but it's an actual snake. So very, very bizarre looking. And these snakes are nocturnal, meaning that they are only active at night to hunt. And, like I said, very little has research been done about them, so we still got a whole lot to learn, people. Oh, you sitting on your perch? Is this your little perch, huh? Yeah, huh, Bagheera? What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, ooh, someone's getting cranky. Ooh. You my precious foob, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're so cute. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, sheesh. All right, boys and girls, that is going to do it here for today's video. So let me, let me know what you guys think about these weird looking snakes. Do you, is there any other kinds out there that you really like out there? Or do you actually kind of have an, a pick on which one of these three that I did? So... But I'm sure there's a few out there as well that probably might get my attention too. So, but nonetheless, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here, y'all. Make sure to smash that like button, you guys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me, you guys. And turn on that notification bell. And I promise... <laughs>